Hello, welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back. Uh, my name is Caroline and I'm a first year law student. It's officially the start of 2021. This is my first video of the year. And so I thought I would start things off by sharing with you what some of my goals are. We're gonna manifest a little bit. We're gonna share what some of my resolutions are. Uh, I'm gonna tell you what my plans are for the channel, for school, for life, just yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of, you know, sit down, talk with me, see where my life is going. So I made a little vision board for the year. So this is the full thing. I currently have it set as my laptop background. So let me just show you, here she is. Um, but let's go through it because this has, uh, this is basically a visual representation of what I want to accomplish this year, um, what kind of habits I'm hoping to develop, uh, where I want to be. So let's start. Okay, so we're gonna start in the top left corner. Okay, so as you know, I'm currently applying to jobs and I've mentioned that I really wanted to work in Europe this summer. Um, with the current vaccine and COVID, I don't think that's going to happen. It's still on my list, but I think I'm gonna make my this 20 a little bit more realistic. Looks like I'll probably be working in rem either remotely or in New York this summer. Um, so that is what I'm going to assume is New York. It's basically a picture of someone either working or studying in New York. That's always been my dream to move to New York after law school. And so why not start manifesting it for the summer? Um, I've applied to like 40 New York law firms. So go to at least one of them. But yeah, so manifesting a job in New York this summer. Um, kind of give you up on the Europe dream, but Europe will pop up in other parts of this vision board. All right, so below that, that's the gold YouTube play button. Gold is 1 million subscribers. Um, I don't think I'm gonna hit 1 million subscribers. I just thought that the gold matched uh, my vision board a little bit more, but this basically represents what my YouTube goals are. So first, let's talk a little bit about the future of this channel. Next week's video should be a grades reaction. I should have gotten my grades by then. So hopefully I'll be able to share with you how I did this semester. Um, and then I will hopefully be in a good place to share kind of how I prepare for exams, what law school exams are like, make a whole video about that. Um, I'm headed back to campus this weekend, so vlogs will be back. Um, back to sharing with you what second semester law school is like. I, I'm hoping that second semester will be a little bit easier, but also, um, it comes with new challenges. I'm taking an extra course this semester. I'm probably going to be going through interviews, through more job applications. So it, second semester brings new challenges, but I'm excited, I'm excited to go back. So more vlogs. Um, I'm hoping to do more videos on kind of just like what the job search is like. I haven't really done any other than my little TikTok last week, but I want to hopefully after I've had some success, I want to sit down and talk about that. Um, let me know what kind of videos you want to see on this channel. I really do want to branch out. So I really want to do more kind of fashion outfit videos. Um, I have kind of been struggling with that because I wasn't able to bring most of my clothes to Ann Arbor, but we'll see what we can do. I want to bring, make some more lifestyle videos. I'm still going to be posting once a week every Thursday. That's my goal for this year once a week until the end of the year. Hopefully I can stick on schedule. I, okay, 1 million is a little bit far, but I'm thinking maybe 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. You gotta manifest that stuff. So that's my goal. All right, next we have this picture of, okay, so this is a candle. It's in the shape of like a statue and a bathtub. Um, whether it's the summer, if I find a job and it's in person or next fall when I'm moving in with my friend, for school, I'm gonna be decorating my own space. So this is kind of just representative of what I want that to look at. Like, I love these candles. I don't own one yet, but it's on my list. I'm gonna get one for when I have my own place. I just think it's so cute. And I wanna be able to take baths. It's just, it's a representation of the space I want to live in sometime this year. Okay, and below that is a picture of just two friends, like literally dressed up and going out because apparently we gotta manifest that now because um, it's not happening otherwise. So I'm hoping that sometime this year, things can return enough back to normal so that I can hang out with my friends again and get super dressed up. I've learned my lesson. After this pandemic is over, I'm never turning down an opportunity to go out with my friends ever again. Like literally anytime anyone asks me to go out, I'm there. Another picture of New York, but at night, you know, I really need a job this summer and I really wanted to be in New York. So gotta manifest that. Below that, it's just a really pretty girl in a really pretty dress and a really pretty interior. Last semester was kind of rough. I would have class at 9 or 5 and I would drag myself out of bed at 9, splash some water on my face and turn on Zoom. I don't want to do that anymore this semester because 
First of all, I'm pretty sure the prof could tell that I did that. Second of all, I want just to be more put together for my classes. I think it puts me in a better mind space to learn. So my goal this year, one of my new resolutions is every morning I want to wake up with enough time to get ready. I want to do my hair, I want to do my makeup, I want to get dressed up for the day. Oh my God, I almost spilled my water. Um, I want to be put together for the day. No more waking up five minutes before class and then opening my laptop. And so she looks very put together. She looks like she has her legs together. She looks fancy. That's the energy I am embodying for school this semester. I want to wake up and turn on Zoom and look like that. Yes, that, well, well, we'll see how that goes. You'll see on my vlogs how well that goes. And even I noticed this last semester, the days where I did get ready, where I put, did my makeup, did my hair, I felt really good that day. I didn't feel super tired. I felt, I felt good. So I want to feel good every day this semester. So the next picture is, it's a quote, I wish to live a life that causes my soul to dance inside my body. So the past few weeks, I found that social media can be kind of a little bit of a toxic place for me. That's why I took a break from this channel, from social media in general. I've had to really evaluate how I approach things. And I've realized that instead of looking at social media and getting jealous of what other people have or what kind of lives other people are living, I'm going to just use that as inspiration for me um, and to plan the life that I want to have, the life that causes my soul to be so happy. And I don't want to feel jealous of other people. I just, I want to be very happy with, with myself. Okay, next is this croissant and coffee. I, first of all, I love bread, I love carbs, but that's not the point of this picture. I love cafes. I remember in undergrad, I would go to a cafe to study and then I would just be on my phone for two hours, but just the ambiance, the like, over expensive five dollar coffee, the pastries. Sometimes I would be there with a friend and we would be studying, but we would just be talking for hours. I miss that, okay? I am manifesting that I can do that this year. Hopefully that cafe will be in Europe. You know, we still gotta manifest the Europe trip somehow, even if I'm not working there, I still wanna travel and Europe is still on my list. So hopefully the cafe is in Europe. Even if it's not in Europe, you know, I'll take a cafe in New York or in Albert, whatever. I just wanna be able to go with my friends. Next column is this banner that says, visualize your highest self and then show up as her. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't realize it said that. And so just now I thought it said, visualize your highest self and then show her up, um, which was the energy I was trying to put in here. But you know, I like this too. Um, yeah, we're, it's all about manifesting this year. It's all about what our goals are and accomplishing it. Um, but I'm also a huge fan of setting goals and then passing them. So yeah, all right. So next is a picture of a hand and some coffee. Coffee, we just displayed, but the hand has some rings on it. One of them is a Cartier Love Ring. I am not going to be spending $3,000 on a ring this year. That is not what this picture means. It means that similarly in my whole like, oh, I want to get ready for the day for class. I want to accessorize more this year. I own all these accessories and I never wear them because I'm always in such a rush to go places. I'm always late. And so one of my resolutions this year is to accessorize more. So that's what that picture is. Okay, so next, this picture. This has been on my bucket list for so long. I think this place is called like the Amalfi Coast, P P Positano. It's, it's that really famous place in Italy that like every influencer goes to but I want to go swimming there. The original plan was to work in Italy or somewhere in Europe this year. If that's not gonna happen, fine, whatever. But I wanna to travel to Europe and I wanna go there. Like that is such a dream. Like I want a picture like that and I wanna swim there. That's just been on my bucket list for so long. Underneath that is just a picture of some drinks. I wanna go and get drinks with my friends and just be living my life. That's just my fitness body goals. I've been telling myself I'm gonna work out forever now and I haven't, but I've been good this month. The past two weeks of January, I've been working out quite a bit. So that that's the body goals. Below that is another picture of a girl studying at a cafe. Can you tell I miss cafes? Also study because I want good grades. I'm manifesting good grades. I need good grades. Okay, below that is a picture of a girl holding a bunch of flowers. She's wearing a really pretty dress. That's the summer I want. First of all, I love flowers. Yo, okay, so, I, oh my God. Trader Joe's has these like bouquets for sale for like two or three dollars. I have not been able to find any sort of equivalent of that in Toronto. Like y'all Americans don't know how easy you have it. I wish I could get flowers for like three bucks, okay? But having learned this, I'm gonna be filling my room with fresh flowers this whole semester from Trader Joe's. Like it's so cheap. Why would I not just have fresh flowers all the time? But also even in the summer, I just wanna be able to have the kind of life where I can walk around with a bouquet of flowers. Also her hair is really nice and I've been struggling with my hair for so long, it keeps falling out. Um, I'm manifesting that I have hair like that this year. Very separate side, sorry. But yeah, when I vlog this semester, you will find lots of flowers in my vlog. Because like, 
they're three dollars why would i not buy three dollar fresh flowers and then i have a picture of a girl riding a horse on the beach i don't know what more to say i want to do that that's what a vision board is i want to do that i love horseback riding i love the beach the next picture is a picture of i think the bag is called the jacques mousse bag and then it's like a white button up shirt dress um first of all i love this outfit second of all this is just represents like i want to really fix up my wardrobe this year um like i said i want to do more style videos but i really want to define my style this year and stop by and just random clothes because like oh i'm in the moment that looks good i want to kind of cultivate i think that's right cultivating the wardrobe next second last column more drinks Y'all, I swear I don't have a drinking problem. I just really like pretty drinks and spending time with friends, you know? I Because you have to manifest that. Because from what I learned from 2020, apparently I've been taking that for granted. Just being able to go out. So it's on my list. Picture below that is a girl, she's in New York in an apartment. We've been over this. I want to be in New York. I want to live in a condo. I want to have a nice view. I love floor to ceiling windows. I already know that wherever I'm going to live in the future, it's going to have floor to ceiling windows. Below that, okay, so there's like a combination of three columns here. I'm trying my best. This is just a picture of like, when I put lawyer to Pinterest, this is what showed up. You know, I'm still in law school. I gotta be good at law school. So this is symbolizing that I want to do well in law school this year. And then I have this other quote that's, I am creating the life of my dreams. That's what this vision board represents. That's what I'm working towards. Below that, I think that's Chantel and Jeffries and Alyssa Violet. I just put into, I just put friends into Pinterest and that's what I got. Um, yeah, I want to see my friends. I have not seen some of my friends in so long, you guys. So I thought I would be able to see them this lock, this break, but Toronto has literally been in lockdown since I've got home in November. So I have literally seen no one but my family, which is nice, but like I have not seen some of my friends in so long. And then last column, the first picture is a girl in a museum. I want to go to museums. Also, that's such a cute Instagram picture. I want to step on my Instagram game. Below that is a picnic on the beach. Like I said, I love the beach. I also love picnics. Also a very COVID friendly activity to do. Um, I want to do more of that with my friends this year. So that's my vision board for this year. Um, if you've sat through this whole video, um, thanks. That's just me rambling about my vision board. I really recommend that you guys make a vision board and, and just fill it with pictures that make you happy. You know, even if none of this comes true, I like looking at this picture every day, every time I open up my laptop. So you should make one. I just got a bunch of pictures from Pinterest, used Canva to make a wallpaper and then just saved it as my background. So to sum up, my main goals this year are one, I wanna be ready for each day. So I'm gonna get ready, I wanna dress up. I just, I really need to be in that mindset of success and that's what it's gonna be like. Um, two, I wanna either be in New York or Europe. I think we've established that. Three, I wanna be able to see my friends. I wanna be able to go out. I wanna be able to dress up and drink with them and just live my 20s like they were meant to be um i got some fitness goals in there and then finally i want to fi fix up my closet my wardrobe yeah those are my goals for this year hopefully i accomplish them no wait scratch that i am going to accomplish them i'm excited to share that journey with you on this channel but yeah thanks so much for watching me talk about my 2021 goals uh, i'm really excited for this year um please like comment subscribe uh, let me know what some of your 2021 goals are. I would love to hear them. Leave them in the comments. And stay tuned for my reacting to my Lost Girl Marks video. Bye, guys.